Hi guys, happy Monday! We are back with some cool doji danshi. Play it cool, guys. Episode 22, it is called Summer Festival. So I'm assuming they're all gonna hang out and have a little summer festival vibe, which you know we're always here for. So without further ado, let's just get into it. <laughs> That's funny, bro. <laughs> He's in his own head, right? Like, <laughs> it's like you're just thinking about something completely different. You're just <laughs> I don't know if I've ever. Have I done? I feel like this is something that you've probably done, but have not noticed that you've done. This one probably goes so unnoticed unless you guys make really awkward eye contact at some point. You're like. Hi. <laughs> but I can't, I'm not sure. <laughs> Wait, I'm sorry, hold on a second. One, one second, what do you said? When you said a seven year age difference wasn't a thing, I thought I was like, wait, hold on, are we? <laughs> I was like, what are we talking about here? <laughs> I was like, seven year age difference for what? <laughs> oh my god. But it seems like he just means in terms of connecting and communicating with someone, like seven year gap is not like weird. Oh my god. <laughs> The way he just lets him drink his coffee until he's like, by the way, that's mine, but yeah. <laughs> Indirect kiss. <laughs> you chugged that thing too. You can finish it. <laughs> You're so bi, aren't you? <laughs> No, Motaharu is officially bi, like he's definitely bi. Or maybe he's gay, I don't know, whichever one, but like, clearly, he's very open. <laughs> Hi, dude, look at me, sir. Hanging out with his friends. They're like, by who? <laughs> I was about to say, I'm like, join! Oh. <laughs> standing by the tree like that! <laughs> Type. He caught one. Oh, mo. <laughs> Dude! <laughs> he really said you kids don't have to take out your wallet. Oh, you just- you decided this! <laughs> Bro, you decided this and now you're bringing him into it. <laughs> oh, he wanted some a long time with Hayate, bro. He wanted to be like, dude, be comfortable with me, please. <laughs> the distance. That's like an honor, okay? Like... That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. I just want to be a rock. <laughs> Bro, that is the dumbest thing. <laughs> it's good 
for him to meet all kinds of people, actually. Period. <laughs> bro, like, bro, this plot, I'm, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> They're both just in their own world. <laughs> oh my god. Yo, I'm on level 5,000 right now. On that level is when they're reading both sides. I'm, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Are you on that level? Comment down below if you're on that level. <laughs> so they do live at the same building, like I guessed. They live in the same complex. <laughs> Tell me they're not neighbors. not you certainly wouldn't out yourself like this if you were <laughs> and he moved after you <laughs> and love how he immediately goes like I swear <laughs> I would never stoop so low <laughs> well yeah remember the bookshelves Oh, yes, true! The, what do they call him again? The ur urchin? Like, the black? Bro, he's really trying to make friends. He's really trying to make friends. He's really like, yo, friends I seek. <laughs> he is investing and in making these people his besties, bro. Oh my god, Summer Sky... Stop, stop, stop. We had festival today. Next week is Summer Sky and Sea. Even in this show, we're still getting the beach episode, aren't we? This will be fun. <laughs> Very fun. So I obviously really look forward to next week's episode. Bro, this episode was basically Mozart being so, so gay. I'm so sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> yes, we're entering that headspace again. Um, I'm obviously joking, though. He was obviously just being super friendly and trying to get super close to Hayate and whatever. But, like, the intonations for me, I, like, I'm, like, plot, 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 plot. <laughs> it's just everything. Everything. But, yeah, I feel like we've been getting a lot of him-oriented episodes. Or, like, episodes where, like, he had a lot to do with it. And I guess it's because he's a new character. So they are trying to integrate him more into the group and have everyone warm up to him and it just being, like, really normal and stuff, which is fine. I am not complaining because I really like him. His personality seems so chill, like, the chillest type of dude to have around. He's obviously has his moments where he's, like, in his own head and just outer space and he, like, forgets stuff he buys or whatever, but, like, he still seems actually reliable, which is really cool. I like Soma, like, a lot, and I feel like they have a lot of similarities. He's just, like, the older version. Like, I could see Soma turning into him. You know what I mean? So, I like that. They're both really, like... Um, his style, obviously. Yeah, Hayate is just living the dream. Like, it's not every day that your idol begs you to be his friend. Um, so honestly, live it up. And yeah, so that's it. I'll end it here, guys. I look forward to next week's episode. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave all your feel thoughts down below, and I'll see y'all again in my next video. So we're gonna jump into the last episode of Tear Eternity now. Ah! That's only like on my site though. But yes, yay, I'm excited. So thanks and bye.